Hi, my name is Mudassar. I'm a senior customer engineer at BrowStack. And today we're going to talk about Percy, BrowStack's very own visual testing and review platform. In today's demonstration, we're going to talk about the need for visual testing. Uh, we just going to take an overview of what Percy is. We're going to see how integration could be smooth, easily achieved, how execution could be done, how visual differences could be reviewed, and we're going to touch upon some key benefits of using Percy. Look at this application. If you have to test the functionality of the application, it is relatively simpler. But how do you test whether the application looks correct? There are several challenges. You'll have to test the position, alignment, spaces, color, font, or even size of each component. Testing all these uh, using an automated functional test would mean writing hundreds of lines of code for each component. Alternatively, if you're using manual testing, an exploratory testing could be an option, but how consistent or reliable is the approach? Hence, there is a need for visual testing, where you check whether the application looks correct. Here is where Percy comes into picture. Percy is a, an automated visual testing and review platform, which allows you to compare different visuals and highlight the visual differences very easily. Here is how Percy works. There are three stages in a Percy workflow. The first stage is integrate. Whether you have an end-to-end -end framework or static websites, web apps or components, we provide different SDKs related to your workflow. And you can drop in a single snapshot command to go ahead and take the snapshot. Percy integrates seamlessly with your CI CD and your source code management tools as well. Let's move on to the next step. The next step is the run step or the execution step. It's at this step that when the script is run, the DOM snapshots are captured. When you take screenshots, it might happen that it consumes a lot of time. For some time, uh, for 100 screenshots, it might add up to 30 minutes of the build time. And hence, we capture the DOM snapshots. This allows us to render these DOM snapshots at different screen resolutions, as well as uh, you know different browsers. This brings to our third step, which is the review step. It is at this step that the Percy highlights the visual differences a reviewer can log in to Percy dashboard, review the visual differences in different uh, combinations, different screen resolutions, and update the theme uh, using the dashboard itself. Uh, the reviewer can use uh, the, the dashboard to collaborate with different team members and ask for status updates as well. Let's go ahead and understand how integration works. This is a Percy dashboard. The first step is to go ahead and create a project. Let's go ahead and create a project by clicking on create new project. Here I'm entering the project name. I can link it to my source code management uh, repo as well. Currently I'm linking it with my GitHub repository. And the project is created. The next step is installing the relevant SDK and uh, adding that to your uh, framework. So currently I'm using the end-to-end -end framework as Puppeteer. So I'm going to select Puppeteer, open the Puppeteer docs. Copy the installation command and execute it in my framework.
here we go the sdk is installed now we perform the second step which is uh, copying the percy token so every project uh, you know has a percy token this acts as an authorization key as well as a unique identifier for the project so i am going to set this up as the environment variable in my project and now i am committing the changes that i have done So we added the Percy token. The next step is use the SDK and then add the snapshot commands. Here is where I am adding the SDK. Wherever I want to take the snapshot command, I will mention the Percy snapshot command. I can give the name to the snapshot. and also i can specify different widths at which i want the snapshots to be rendered percy gives a very powerful way uh, to perform operations on the css that is captured as a part of the snapshot uh, so you can specify uh, the css in the percy css parameter for example if you want to hide a specific css you can specify percy css specify the css component and mention the visibility as hidden so while taking the percy snapshot a percy will hide this part of the css this this comes in really handy when you want to ignore certain part of the css uh, for comparison here we go we've added the snapshot commands and we are ready to execute the project uh you need to ensure that uh your execution command is wrapped with percy exec command uh this ensures that the percy agent is started whenever the script start execute let's go ahead and trigger the execution here you observe that the first build is captured this build is the base build and different uh, snapshots at different screens are captured here these are the dom snapshots which means all the assets images at the at that moment is captured and it is rendered on the percy platform now we can go to the dashboard here is where we can see our first build it also associates with the github repo uh, that we integrated at the beginning of the project since it is the first build and it is considered as the base build it is auto approved because there are no changes in the build here you can see the snapshots getting captured let's execute this with a ci cd in my example i'm using a jenkins ci cd pipeline so i'm going to create a new project in jenkins and trigger the build by passing in the necessary parameters
and now I'm triggering the build. I can see the console output in the Jenkins itself. Here, if you observe, the uh, snapshots uh, are being taken. Yeah, the build has been successfully completed. Now, either I can go to my uh, GitHub repository, which is my source code management uh, here. And I can see the pull request in the GitHub repository. So if I go to pull request, I can see the latest pull request that was generated. I can click on that pull request. And here I can see that my functional tests have passed successfully. And there's a notification about the visual test. This way, I can isolate uh, the functional and the visual test uh, in my pull request and keep them independent of each other. We'll give Percy a moment to go ahead and uh, render those snapshots as well as perform the visual test on it. Now, if you want to open the build directly from uh, GitHub, all I have to do is click on details. And the reviewer can open the build. Here on the left hand side, you will see the baseline uh, visuals. So the, the snapshots that were taken in the first build become the base build. And the pull request or the latest session that you ran just right now become your current build or the build that you want to compare. So on the left hand side, you would be able to see the snapshots of the base build. On the right hand side, you will be able to see the snapshot of the current build that was uh, run. A very prominent difference is the change in the uh, checkbox here. So on the change in the color of the checkbox, on the left hand side it's green in the base build and in the current build it is blue. The other change uh, which Percy has highlighted is with the change in terms of the menu items out here. So if I have to see the visual change, all I have to do is click on the current bit and highlight the change. So if you observe the change in the menu items on the left hand side, lab results and performance is uh, available in a sequence. And on the right hand side, you will see performance on top and lab results below. These kind of minute changes can be difficult um, to be captured, uh, you know, when you're doing an exploratory testing manually. You can get the source uh, diffs uh, as well as the source and the original, uh, you know, information as well uh, by clicking on this uh, arrow. So here you can click on the drop down and here you can copy the snapshot URL. So this you copy this particular URL uh, so that you could share it with, with one of your developers. You could download the original source, you download the new source, uh, which is the current build. You can download the difference as well. So difference would essentially highlight what all different changes were there uh, in both the builds. If I want to highlight 
the different or, or see the visual differences in different screen resolutions, I should be able to do that as well. All I have to do is click on the screen resolution here and I should be able to see the visual difference in a mobile kind of a resolution. So it, it takes the entire page DOM snapshot and hence you will be able to see uh, the visual difference here in a mobile kind of a resolution. Alternatively, if you want to go ahead and change the browser, you can go ahead and click on Firefox and see the visual differences. If a reviewer finds that this difference is uh, not acceptable or uh, you know, requires some review, the reviewer can go ahead and request changes. A reviewer can also collaborate with uh, the, the team member and ask if this change was intended. Immediately a notification is sent as an email uh, to, to the team member tag. If the changes are intended, then the reviewer can go ahead and approve these changes. Once this approval is done, the same is reflected in the GitHub uh, pull request as well. If all snapshots meet the expectations, the reviewer can simply go ahead and click on approve. This shows in the GitHub pull request that all checks have passed and there are no conflicts and this pull request can be merged easily. This is how easy it is to go ahead and perform the review process. Thus, we've successfully seen how to integrate uh, with Percy, uh, Percy with your existing workflow, uh, how to execute the test, and how a reviewer can use uh, the, the Percy dashboard to review the results and collaborate with the team. Before we complete uh, the demonstration, let me go ahead and highlight some of the key benefits. Some of the key benefits of using Percy is that minimal amount of code is required. You've seen how successfully I just added the snapshot command. How easy it is to go ahead and integrate with any of the workflow. And if necessary, I can go ahead and create my own SDK in case a new language is introduced. I can go ahead and integrate with any source code management tool. Uh, major majority of people use GitHub. So we've got a smooth integration with GitHub. It can be easily scaled to meet the needs. Uh, and capturing DOM snapshots makes it really fast. Where, wherein you, if you compare it with screenshots, it's very, very slow. But DOM snapshots compared, uh, capturing is, makes it makes Percy very, very fast. We not only allow you to go ahead and review the changes, but also collaborate with other team members and share your review. This is all I had for Percy demo today. For more information, you can visit rastag.com slash Percy. Thank you.